There is a traditional Hopi story called The Secret of the Hidden Egg. Nohu na ui yita. Please forgive my poor pronunciation. It is an old North American Indian story, but it resonates with what is happening in the world today. It says nature is giving many signs that the next cycle of evolution is approaching. In Hopi, it is called Nohu na yui yita, the secret of the hidden egg. <clears throat> There was a kind landlord. His name was Masau. Masau was very good to all his tenants. He asked for no rent, just that his tenants behaved well and took good care of the land. Masau lived in a cave in the center of the earth. His tenants were not rich, but they were content with what they had and they were grateful to their kind landlord. Among his tenants, there were some dissenters who quarreled among themselves, and they would try to involve the peaceful tenants. From time to time, one of the peaceful tenants would go to Masau and complain about the dissenters, saying that the gossip and the politics and disturbances they were causing had increased with the passage of time and had become unbearable. The kind landlord smiled and said, it is not more difficult than it was in the beginning. The problems are a little different, but it is no more difficult now than it was before. It seems to you that life is more difficult because when you are a youngster, you are not disturbed by the issues that affect you now. Your father and mother dealt with these issues. Do you know that your father came to see me with this same complaint over 50 years ago after the Great War? At that time, your father thought life was greatly more difficult than it was when he was a boy. And his father before him came to see me with the same complaint over a hundred years ago. Don't trouble yourself unduly about the dissenters. If they involve you in their disputes and you are innocent, your innocence will prevail. My advice is, stay away from the dissenters. Take care of your family, conserve your strength, because one day life will become truly difficult and your family will need all your strength. One day, all the tenants woke to the whole world shaking like a wet dog shakes to get water out of his fur. They had experienced earthquakes before, but none like this. The land was in turmoil. Even the dissenters stopped agitating. Everybody ran to Masau. On the way, the land opened and molten rock poured out. They had experienced volcanoes before, but nothing like this. They saw Masau walking towards them. This was the first time he had left his cave at the center of the earth to come to his tenants. By his unusual behavior, they knew something was coming, something for which none of them were prepared. Masau sat down on a rock, and his tenants gathered around him, all talking at once. He put one finger to his lips, and his tenants fell silent. His first words were reassuring to his peaceful tenants, but brought no comfort to the dissenters, because it was in their nature to be suspicious. Don't worry. Everything will come right in the end. The time has come for me to explain to you the hatching of the hidden egg. He had with him a bucket filled with stones and sand. He asked one of his tenants to shake the bucket, and the tenant did, causing all the stones to move to the bottom of the bucket and the sand to rise to the top. Masau said, Notice how the stones have fallen to the bottom of the bucket. This happens with all materials of mixed weight. During motion, the heavy material sinks while the light material rises. As Masau spoke, the land around him shook and rumbled and steaming hissing geysers erupted their scalding contents into the air, creating clouds of dense steam. He continued unperturbed. You have all noticed how the weather has become unpredictable, and many of you have come to me to ask why this is so. Some of you have suggested that your Mother Earth is sick. 
The weather is unpredictable in much the same way as the temperature of a pregnant woman in her last stages of birthing is unpredictable. Your Mother Earth is pregnant and soon she will give birth. The tenants were mystified. How could the Earth Mother be pregnant? To what could she give birth? It was inconceivable. The dissenters started arguing fiercely that this was not a logical explanation for the weather changes and disasters. Once more, Masao put one finger to his lips and they fell silent. He continued, We call our Mother Earth by many names. For this explanation, I am going to call her Horuungwuti, hurrying around woman. Her body contains a great deal of hard and heavy material, especially iron. As I showed you with this bucket of mixed materials, so it is with the body of Horuungwuti. We are not aware of the movement of Horuungwuti, so it seems to us that she is still, but she is always on the move. She rotates like a spinning top about her axis, and she flies in her orbit around the sun. All this movement causes heavy material in the body of Horuungwuti to move downwards and to gather in her womb where it forms a heavy metal egg. Unknown to you, Horuungwuti has been hatching her egg, developing within her womb. The changes in the weather are changes in her temperature. The increase in earthquakes and volcanoes are the result of her labor contractions as she draws ever closer to the hour of her delivery. Huru Umwuti is in the final stages of her delivery. Soon her divine infant will emerge. The emergence of her infant heralds the arrival of the great purification. And it is for this reason that the great purification is called Nohu na yui yita, the secret of the hidden egg. While Masu spoke to his tenants, the earth heaved in her turmoil, geysers hissed their contents, volcanoes spewed forth lava, and tornadoes swept across the land. The frightened tenants wailed, What shall we do? What shall we do? Masau said, Some of you may decide to leave your mother, but most of you will remain here with me. When Horuungwuti has delivered her infant, she will fly like a phoenix and settle in an orbit closer to the sun. In this new orbit closer to the sun, your mother will be crowned as paradise. And those who have remained with her throughout her worst throes of birthing will live in paradise with her. Those who stayed with their mother will meet again with their ancestors and gather their loved ones in their homes and sing joyous songs to celebrate the renewal of all land and life in its highest state of being. Masau said, The children who want to stay with their mother can do so, and whoever wants to leave can do so. The dissenters looked at each other. The whole world was shaking with the birth pangs of their mother. One of the dissenters said, Landlord, we only know this land and life, this Mother Earth. We have no other place to go. If there is some other place which is not shaking and boiling as she is, please tell us. I would like to take my family there now. Several dissenters cried out, Yes, if we can escape this disaster, please tell us where to go. Masau answered, I'm not here to tell you how to leave your mother, who has always loved and nurtured you. She needs you at this time to surround her, to celebrate and uplift your voices at the joyful advent of her infant. I am here to protect you from strangers who may come and tell you how to leave your mother. I am here to be with those of my tenants who will stay with me and await the paradise to come. Strangers may come and entice you to go with them. They are not your brothers and sisters. They do not have your best interests at heart. Be warned, these strangers will take you with them, but they are not sincere, they will harm you. One of the dissenters asked Masau, Why will they invite us along when we have nothing to offer them? Look around, everything we have is being destroyed. Suddenly a woman said, We can gather all our jewelry and offer it to them in return for taking us with them. Masau said quietly, 
those strangers who have no need for the gold and silver trinkets which you offer them, they will demand a much higher price. Can you think what price you will have to pay for leaving your mother, who has nourished you and your ancestors before you? Do not be deceived by sweet words and false promises, nor by fear. Our hope for the future lies only with our Mother Earth, who has carried us through past cycles to where we are now, so near to our completion in the fifth world with her. Masau said, You must always trust your Mother Earth and never desert her. As told in the first Hopi Spirit Law, Tusquai Katsi, land and life are one. Thank you very much.